Today we are grooming Teddy, the five-year-old very anxious golden retriever. The owners have traveled six hours in the hopes that I can safely groom their dog. Okay, Teddy, are we gonna be a good boy today? I am wearing hearing protection because Teddy is very anxious and has done quite a bit of barking and it's very, very loud. So in case you guys are wondering why I'm wearing that, he might stop barking while I bathe him because I'll be giving him attention. But we will see. I've been told that he's very fearful of grooming. It's okay. So hopefully he's okay. The owner warned me that he does show his teeth when he's unhappy with something. So we will pay attention to that. Okay, bud. Let's do some nasty critter first because you actually very much stink. Are you gonna be okay? Good boy. Good boy. It's okay. Good boy. You're stinky. All right, it's okay. Teddy is an English cream golden retriever, which means that he has a white coat. It's okay, buddy. It's okay. I can tell that he really doesn't like noises. Something tells me the blow dryer is not gonna go well. It's okay. Am I allowed to rub this in? Good boy. Okay, now I'm gonna do another one in de-shedding. Okay, I gotta do your chest. I'm not gonna wash his actual face. I did put soap on his ears because he's really scared of the water being near his face. But at least his ears are clean because those feel and smelled kind of dirty. Shaking is atrocious though, man. So, so far I don't see any real bite in this dog, just a lot of complaining. <laughs> so we'll see how the rest of this goes. Okay, was that the end of the world? I didn't get to wash your face and guess what? Your face stinks. Good boy. The bath is over. So the owner warned me that her dog doesn't like the blow dryer. So I do not want to blow dry him high on the table just in case he panics and tries to fly off. I'd rather him be a little bit lower. She also said that she believes he will take this happy hoodie off of his head. So let's try. It's okay. Will you keep it on? It's okay. It's okay. It's okay. Calm down. You're okay. Good boy. No, 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 no. Ah, ah, ah. Okay. Okay. That type of jumping is exactly what I'm talking about. And obviously he does not like the happy hoodie. So relax. It made him panic. So I'm going to wait till he calms down. No, no, no. So a lot of dogs will turn. Hey. Nope, and bite the noose to try and set themselves free. And he can bite through this. Um, even though it is pretty durable, he can still bite through it if he really wants to. Are you gonna end up being a dog that I blow dry on the floor? Let's see what happens when I turn the dryer on. You gonna be okay? I am going to blow dry him a little bit with the high velocity dryer just to get the excess water off 
Then I'm gonna try to put him in a crate with a crate dryer facing him because I think that that would make him less stressed out, um, but we will see. Only because he's soaking wet and it's winter time, so I'm not sending him home like this. Nope, nope. I have to get him at least somewhat dry. Some dogs, once the dryer hits them a little bit, they get over it and they calm down. Other dogs are extremely stressed out. I'm not forcing a dog through a blow dry that is this stressed out. So I'm gonna hopefully be able to get him into the crate and be able to crate dry him. And if I can get him at least 50% dry before he goes home. I'm gonna get Teddy into the crate because he wouldn't allow it. So I'm going to try to blow dry him on the ground. He seemed to be less stressed with that because he can run away as he pleases. Again, I'm not fully drying him. I just need to get him at least 50% dry before I send him home because it is the winter and I don't want to send him home with a wet coat. You need to let me dry you with the small dryer, okay? Good boy. So obviously he's still fairly damp and there's only so much I can do because he really doesn't want me to dry him. And without the high velocity dryer, it can be very difficult to get a dog's coat like this dry. The small handheld dryer and a brush is only gonna go so far. So we are doing the best that we can and probably sending him home halfway wet today which isn't something I like to do, especially on double-coated dogs, but sometimes it's the best thing I can do for them. Okay, you do have some matting behind your ears, which we're gonna have to shave out. And then we're gonna turn you and try to dry some of the other side. Good boy. I'm told you're bad for nails. Can I check that out and see for myself? What a good boy. Good boy, Mr. Man. Good boy. Oh, good boy. Good. Can I see these ones? It's okay. Good. Okay, let's try to dry some of the other side. So I'm gonna give you guys 
my real professional opinion about this dog. Could I force him through a groom? I could. I could continue blow drying him, brushing him. Well, he's good for the brush, but I could keep blow drying him until he's bone dry and I can send him home looking perfect. But at the end of the day, I'm gonna stress him right out the entire time. So do I think that that's necessary? No. Now, there are times where it is necessary. For example, if the dog has matting or if the dog has a skin problem. In those cases, yes, I might have to force the dog through a groom for its own benefit. This dog here, thank you very much. He doesn't particularly need professional grooming. His coat is in good condition. Yes, I would advise professional nail trims and he's good for that, so that's great. But do I think that he needs to see a professional groomer to be bathed, blow dried and brushed out? No, I don't. I think that the owner has done a great job maintaining their dog's coat at home and I think that he should continue to get maintained at home. He's unfortunately just very, very stressed about grooming and I don't see the necessity of forcing him through it. He is blowing a ton of coat. It would be great if I could get him fully groomed, but it's not gonna happen today. So I'm going to finish clipping his nails, trimming his paws, give him one more good brush. Yeah, and then I'm gonna let you go, okay? You were very good. I know that you're stressed and anxious. It's not your fault. Good boy. I see where your quick is, don't worry. Good boy. No, 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 no. It's okay. Hey, don't do the lip lift. Good boy. Obviously, the dog does need to be bathed. So even though he doesn't like baths, he should definitely have those continuously for the rest of his life. But the blow dryer, I just don't think it's necessary. Unless the owners continue to work with him at home and get him used to it, I just don't see the point. But you're good for your paws and your brushing. So, I mean, who cares, right? Now, because I was not able to fully dry him, I would love to use some de-shedding tools on him because he is shedding like crazy. Okay, okay. No. But the de-shedding tools, because he's damp, is just going to pull very badly on his coat and make him very uncomfortable. So unfortunately, I cannot de-shed him. Okay, I thought you were good for brushing, but now that I'm brushing, you're barking at me. Why? Oops. Why? Why? You didn't do this with your other paws. Hey, relax. You're okay. Okay, I'm giving you sugar cookie because tis the season. Well, he was done to the best of his ability today. I didn't want to push him too far. The owners traveled six hours to get to me in the hopes that I could get their dog mostly completed, but really their hopes was that somebody would take the time and have patience with him and I hope that that's what I did with him today. Sometimes you just have to start with baby steps and that just means slowly getting him used to the dryer and not overly stressing him out. You wanna treat? You wanna treat now? You wanna treat now? Yeah. Thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed this very anxious retriever today and I will see you again in a few days. Okay, wanna go home? Wanna go for a car ride? Wanna go for a car ride? Good boy.